Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to our daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope your week is going well, depending on wherever you see this reading. Hope all is well in your world. Let's see what's going on at this time for my subscribers. Daily energy and advice, what do you need to know? Check out your weekly link, it's um, in the description box below. Information on private readings is also there. Oh, Ace of Wands, um, Swords, Big Tree Truth, Clarity, Fresh Start, Cutting Off a Burden. Okay. Um, yeah, all you need to know is in the description box. Let's have a look for my subscribers. Daily Energy and Advice. What do we need to know at this time for our highest good? Okay. Oracle, Oracle Energy and Advice for the day for my subscribers. Okay, well this one flipped over so I will take it. Okay. Alright, so let's see what's going on. Now at the time I'm recording this, we just had a, a blue moon um, in Capricorn and it's linked to Saturn and it's linked to Pluto and it's linked to a bunch of other stuff going on in the sky. I'm not an astrologer, but I know it's intense energy, um, intense focus on just facing what we need to face, learning the lessons we need to learn, integrating, um, and then so, um, some sort of big reward, right, that Saturn gives us as a result, right, um, of our all our hard work and, and where we got to with it. Um, so I hope you're doing well. I think all of us are going through it. Just breathe. There's a purpose to it. Try to use, you know, a healthy mindset. Try to do the best you can. Do the right thing. Um, and you will, you will have a blessing. And it actually came out in, in the weekly reading as well. Okay, first card that we have representing the influence of the past on our current situation. What has happened before or what is happening as we're coming into the reading. We have the Eight of Cups. And with the Eight of Cups, it's walking away from things that no longer serve, okay? It, it could be a cleanse, it could be a purge. It could be literally moving away, uh, moving out, moving away uh, from things that either just don't work for us anymore, don't make us happy, don't mean anything to us anymore, don't bring any value to our lives, or empty, right? So you may have gone through a separation, walking away from a friendship, a breakup, a divorce, or you're just, you've done the emotional detachment stage of it, right? Whether or not you're actually going through with the rest of the motions, right? But at least emotionally, you've kind of detached from it. You've accepted that it just needs to go. You need to go for your peace, right? Or it's just not what you want. You, you've come to a conclusion that something you've been investing in it's just it's not going to be what you want it to be right and it's coming to that acceptance of you know what no matter what i do it's not going to change it's just not it it's not going to be it so i'm just going to cut ties with it release it so that i can actually find what i want and what i'm looking for right in today's energy justice here's that decision that big very significant decision of doing the right thing for ourselves and for the situation right libra energy here so you could be, again, you've done the emotional detachment part, now you're going and filing the paperwork, whatever that is. If it's a notice, if um, notice that you're moving out, notice that you're quitting, if it's um, officially letting someone know you want out of the relationship, if it's filing for divorce, if it's making a divorce final, if you've going, been going through separation, right, and whatever it is, you're like, nope, not happening, it's not it, we tried, let's just call it what it is and be done with it so that I can be free, you can be free, and we can all be happy and move on, right? And find actually what thing, the, a thing or a person or whatever it is that's going to make us happy. But again, it's calling a spade a spade and doing the right thing in the situation, making something official, making something final. This could also be a situation with the Eight of Cups and Justice where you took your hands off something and you said, you know what, Jesus, take the wheel, whoever you believe in, take the wheel. The universe... I trust that you're going to make things happen the way they're meant to happen, right? This is where we release the outcome that we want. We release our attachment to that. And we go, whatever will be, will be. I trust it will be in my highest good, right? Same thing. And with justice, things are moving. Things are shifting for our best interest, in our high, highest and best interest, right? 
where things are going to go we have the seven of swords and here's that where we need to be careful okay now the seven of swords is a card of strategy now sometimes strategy can come across as manipulation and playing games and deceit and lies this is where it's very important to do the right thing and to follow through with it okay um, this is not a time to take justice in our own hands. This is not the time to um, resist or try to shy away from doing the right thing. This is not a time to disobey a court order or a mandate of some sort, okay? And if this is something you're detaching from, this is telling you to put it behind you the right way the correct way so that you don't have ties to it anymore right if you want to break up from someone tell them you're breaking up don't try to you know give them hints and or just leave or i mean you do what you will this is just i'm reading the energy of the cards you do what you will it's your karma right justice is here but this is just saying as best as you can do it the proper way do things the right way whether that person deserves it or not is a different matter. This is about you for your soul and for your karma, right? Doing things the right way, um, following the right process, following the law, following a mandate, following a ruling, right? Respecting it, implementing it so that it can be done. When, you, when you've done, when you've completed that process as per the steps you were guided to take or instructed to take, then that is complete, that is done. They can't come back and say, oh, you should have done more, you should have done less. You're saying, no, this is what you've told me to do. This is what I've done. I have the proof for it. This is complete, this is done, I'm not doing this. We're not talking about this again, right? This is following all the steps you need to follow to report something, to file something, right? So don't cut corners, do it properly is the message. And then we have exchanging gifts with 27. And this is that reward, right? If you've been going through this and you've been doing everything, there may be a temptation in the near future to cut corners or to just let something drop um, or to slack off on something, you know, going, you know, I know they've confirmed I got it. I, you know, for, I'm getting like an example where you're looking for a job, you've been applying, applying, applying and they get back to you, you've booked the interview, you go in, you get the job, right? They, they send you that email confirmation that you got the job. You go, you celebrate, right? They keep sending you emails, you don't really check because you go, no, I got the job, they told me I got the job, so you're going away and celebrating. You may be drinking too much, maybe partying too much, whatever it is, you don't look at your phone properly for a day or two, and you miss an email where they were following up and saying, Yes, we've confirmed you got the job, but you have to log into this and put your details there in order for it to be official. You see what I mean? And because we're kind of stopping before the finish line, we see the finish line. It's like stopping one step before the finish line and going, okay, I did this. Before, we, we, we just have to walk through, walk over, cross that finish line, and then we celebrate, and then we party, and then we relax, okay? Don't take your eye off the ball until the ball is in that net, right? And then we have this blessing, then we have this gift. A balancing out, a reward for a good job. Karmic blessing with justice here, an actual reward. Getting what you wanted, getting what you applied for, getting something confirmed if you're filing things, right? Getting something confirmed, getting what you requested but it's very important that we do things properly by the book, by the process, by the guidance we're receiving so that we complete something correctly, completely, and we don't have to deal with it ever again. It's very important, okay? So that is what I have for us today. I hope this helps. Uh, check out your weekly reading in the um, description box below that might add to this. Um, yeah, but I really hope it helps. All right, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.